Shikla, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. We're talking about, first of all, you're a student of human ecology. Yes, I am. So your journey on, as a student has mm -hmm. led you on a different life path. It has. Let's talk a little bit about that. How did that happen? Well, human ecology is an interdiscipline that deals with humans and the interaction with food, natural environment, and um, heavily into nutrition and diet supplements, etc. And in that quest, I stumbled upon a, a, an array of many good supplements over the years. One of such uh, was Fabulous Growth Factor, or FGF, that really brought me here in terms of getting with stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy and stem cell growth and rejuvenation. It's a very controversial uh, mm -hmm. discussion that's even happening. You know, in the U.S., there were a lot of uh, church groups, conservation groups that were against it. Right. What is stem cell research and stem cell therapy? Well, essentially, stem cell therapy, many times used for cancer patients, is the reintroduction of stem cells from an external source, most times from an embryonic source. Um, sometimes they use it from a human umbilical cord or the placenta of humans uh, to help with tissue regenesis or to help with wound healing. Um, that's introducing external stem cells, really. Now, stem cells, what they are, they can be like into like the master cells of the body. They are there in reserve amounts to help the body uh, be able to repair itself. So whether we need nerve cells, tissue cells, organ cells, they can all be derived or taken from stem cells. Now, looking at uh, stem cell therapies, the use of stem cells to treat or prevent disease or conditions, bone marrow transplants, the most widely uh, used stem cell therapy. But some therapists and therapies derived from the umbilical cord are also being used in an experimental phase. Uh, we also have food supplements where people actually tie that in uh, to the stem cell therapy and stem cell research. So we're talking about an external source. Mm -hmm. And then you also have the umbilical cord that can be used as well. Yes. And that's when you're actually taking stem cells and using the actual stem cell. But what our food supplement is, it extracts something called young tissue extract from a fertilized avian egg. Now, what scientists have recognized in the embryonic stage of an egg, exactly precisely on the ninth day, what happens is you have like a synergy of a lot of different biochemical factors needed for life. So you have immune factors as well as uh, various growth factors to help produce life, polypeptides, amino acids. And when these are extracted and used and reintroduced into humans, it really does amazing, amazing things. Because Hema, at the um, embryonic phase in our mother's placenta, we have FGF. But as we age, um, the amount that stays with us depletes. Some roughly estimates about 25 years old, we have none at all to begin the aging process. At 25? Yes. <laughs> Something to look forward to, right? Uh, you know, you talk about the FGFs, mm -hmm. and uh, people are not. So, you are proposing what exactly with the FGFs? Well, the FGFs are a factor that communicates with dormant stem cells that are already existent in your body. So our food supplement does not reintroduce new stem cells, but what it does, it works with what is already there. So the growth factor goes in there as sort of an architect to communicate with your dormant stem cells after you've reached the age of 25 to tell it what to do because they become dormant as we age. They don't. Um, repair as quickly. So if you have a damaged or aged cell, it's supposed to be replaced with a good stem cell that sometimes takes long to happen. And thus the healing process begins to slow down. But with the introduction of FGF in the body, we have been seeing amazing results in patients with not just wound healing, but also other diseases that have been seen improvement with the introduction of FGF. Now we take a very short break. When we come back, we continue our discussion. Stay with us. This is The Morning Brew. Welcome back to Andata 3. We'll continue our conversation with Shaquilla. Uh, in terms of the stem cells, uh, you're talking about fiber, fiber, fibroblast growth factors, the FGFs. How, in terms of the benefits, how would do I, do I take supplements and how soon do I see results? Well, we have formulated a supplement uh, with it in, with it um, in the capsules, in capsule form. What we have done is extracted the FGF along with phytoproteins, meaning plant proteins and marine proteins and created laminine. And it can be taken, we recommend that your first two days, first 10 days, you take two a day 
to introduce it, see how your body responds to that, and then you can always take it as a one a day supplement. If you have a specific problem that you're taking uh, the supplement for, for in my instance, I had an old injury with my coccyx area. I wanted to see results with that. I took four a day and I rarely saw results. The thing about this supplement is how quickly it, it responds to the body because unlike medications or drugs that are actually, it goes in there to do one particular thing, because this is a food supplement, it's an adaptogen. So it goes into your body, um, signals, which is the most inherent threats, and then adapts to your needs. So you can see it as quickly as three days, many um, patients um, have recorded that. And it's for what injury in particular? It's for what ailment? When do I know that I'm a po I should possibly be using this? Well, it differs for everyone because each body is different. Um, you may have, well, I had a back injury. Many patients may have old knee injuries. Uh, it's good for the joints. Even if you don't have injuries, uh, it really helps the body reach the point of homeostasis. It has the ability to give exoskeletal balance. So we do a demonstration, which is holding a pill in your hand. It reacts with cells in nerve cells, the palm of your hand to give you balance. It's really amazing. And it's not just for injuries, it could be used. There's a lot of neurogenesis associated with stem cell therapy. So it helps the mind. Remember, your cognitive development really improves. And I could vouch for that. <laughs> I think that's something we all do uh, in terms of any uh, deficiencies, drawbacks, reactions that you may have to trying this. Well, it's a food supplement, so it does not really react uh, as drugs would. You can develop, as with any food, allergens, but no reports have yet, yet come in. Uh, the only side effect is pain. Many persons, well, pain happens where there's corrective action being taken within the body. So I experienced pain myself, but I was just the regrowth of the tissue and eventually that pain goes away. So really no side effects yet other than the pain have been recorded, yeah. So uh, looking at the stem cell, 10 seconds, your closing comments, Rindan Tobago. Um, well, I just want to tell Trinidad Tobago it's very important that we look at health and wellness. It's more than just nutrition or fitness. It's a synergy of many things and we need to look at not just our diet, but nutrition absorption and look at nutrition on a cellular level and see how we can introduce new ways in order to get optimum health and benefits. The optimum health and benefits. Take a short break. We'll come back. We'll have more for you today with us.